Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got, of course Milo helping me because there's a new box in the house um, and Phil helped me to do a review, film a review for you guys of the new vacuum cleaner we've got, which is the, excuse you, <laughs> right, the attention's not on you for a second. Um, it's the Air Robo T10 Plus Vacuum. Um, and we've had it now for just over two weeks. It's been used in our house. And so I think I'm finally ready to do a review for you. As you know, um, we are fortunate enough to um, get to test a few different vacuum cleaners, but this one is extra special. The big selling point for this vacuum cleaner in particular is it's hands-free for 45 days. And what does that mean? It means that, I mean, to start with, look at the size of the box. It's huge because this automatically cleans itself. So you, like with, for me, with three dogs and a cat, I have to empty my vacuum cleaner every day to let go of the hair and to give it enough because their amount of hair they shed fills the drum daily. Um, but with this one, it has its own disposal unit that you don't have to empty for 45 days. So the Hoover goes back to its docking station, which is this. I've just unplugged it to show it to you. Um, and it will empty itself out for you. So I don't have to, I still, it's two weeks in. I'm, I don't know if we'd last 45 days. We have a lot of pets and a baby. Um, but I'm on week two and, two and a bit now and I still haven't touched it. It's still going strong. So... I'm really, really impressed. I want to show you a few more of its features. Um, it is an all-in-one cleaning solution, so it's not just a vacuum cleaner, it's a mop too. Um, it's very powerful. Um, you'll see that in a second. I'll show you it in use. Um, but let's start with the vacuum. Um, no, do you know what, actually? Let's start with, let's see how much I've used so far. So we're at week two. Um, let me see. So you pull this out. And this is where it dumps it. So the vacuum cleaner itself will have a, its own bag, but it will dump it into this main part. Um, and this is the bag that it all goes into, which is, I'd say, fifth, no, I would say about 50% full at the moment. So yeah, I could get about a month out of it. And then you can see all of the, let me see if I can get some out. Oh, goodness, look. Oh, there's some hair for you. There's quite a big bundle of it there. Um, but yeah, the hair all goes into there and then you just replace the bags every 45 days. That's all you need to do. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long this lasts for us. Um, but I think we've still got quite a bit. Look at that when I actually, always well, hair, isn't it? So I guess it does squeeze down a lot. Um, but yeah, we've still got a lot to go there. So let me show you it in use. Um, I'll, I'll actually leave this hair on the floor and then we can see how it goes against the hair. Look at Milo licking Phil's ear. Did you catch that? Slot that back in there and let's get into it okay guys so i've just plugged it in to show you i'll come on to that in a second but just before i do get into this video i want to let you know that this video is in partnership with aerobo and they have sent us a 30 percent off discount code for you all so i'm going to flash that up on the screen here for you and um i'll leave a link in the description box below um but yeah let me show you how it works and how good it is and then you can decide for yourselves if you want to shop it Okay, so this is it in its charging pod now. So we've got it docked um, next to Mia's kitchen. And um, this is, so you can do it by the app. So I've got it programmed to go off at certain times of the day, but you can also use the remote control. So you can also, obviously for me, I always do maximum power. note at the same time milo has the hair that i left from before milo is now eating milo the hoover needs to use this hair can you move come on this is a test milo this is a test so guys what it's doing is it's got the lidar navigation so at the moment it will be scanning the room with its laser and every six seconds the laser sensor on top of the t10 plus spins six times and measures loads of different points in the room, thousands of different points, and it's building a map in an eight meter radius, so it'll know things like the obstacles it's got. So for example, you've got the soft play set, um, you've got like a little table, we've got all sorts of different things, because obviously we have a baby. Um, and it doesn't matter whether it's dark or light, straight sunlight, it's able to navigate completely without an issue. 
So here it comes to tackle the hair that left behind. So it's got a high torque brush roll and a side brush for all the edges. So it's got really strong suction power. I think it's 2700 PA. So it really does thoroughly clean dirt and pet hair. It's obviously got the adjustable suction levels. So I've got it on the maximum setting. I do always use it, but it has a quiet standard and strong as well. Um, and the runtime for it is 250 minutes after single charging. And that can cover a cleaning area of about 160 square meters. Um, and then you've got like an auto carpet power boost. So it's got 15% gradeability that now allows it to climb on and off carpet. So for us with all the rugs in the house, that's really, really helpful. So I just want to zoom in here um, and you'll see the bundle of hair that I've left behind deliberately to see its power or to test its power against it. So that's a lot of hair for it to pick up in one switch. Look at that. And then it will zigzag back and hair be gone. And that will now be in the drum and then it will dock into its station and get sucked up into there. Okay guys, so Shane's just um, adding water to use the mop function, which I'm going to come on to show you in a second. But while he's doing that, I thought I'd show you the app. Um, so this is Shane's phone. Ignore the error message because obviously he's just filling it up at the moment. Um, but you can see it's mapped out our living room and dining room. And then you can do loads of different settings. Let me just switch to, so I've got my right hand because um, it feels uncomfortable trying to do it with my left. So I've got it set to maximum power, but there is a quiet mode um, if you want to choose it. I just like to have the most power as possible. But then in the settings, you've got things like schedule. So I've got it set that it will go off at 1 a.m. every night. And if you did want to, you could have it set to the quiet mode. But again, I always use maximum mode to make sure it's got as much power as possible, to pick up as much hair as possible. Um, well, oh, also within the schedule, let me just go into it so you can edit it. You can select which rooms you want it to clean. Um, so you can do that. You can set how many times you want to repeat if you want to. Um, and then you can also set if you want the mop to go off too. It is compatible with Alexa as well. So we don't use the um, Alexa voice control. We don't have an Alexa at home, but you can use it and it's completely compatible with that. You can also adjust like the volume that's where it's speaking, different languages. You can set your own voice control. Um, so you can also get cleaning history um, and you can also reset the map. So for example, I can use this upstairs and downstairs. It's currently only mapped downstairs as that's all I've used in, but you could use it upstairs and it would map all of those rooms too. Um, it also has, you know, so for the staircase, it wouldn't fall down the staircase. It's got depth perception, so it would know not to go downstairs. I kind of get that back. There you go. But yeah, this is the app and this is our downstairs layout. So it's gone into the kitchen a little bit, as you can see, but this is what the laser is picking up in terms of obstacles and the cleaning path that it is following. Um, so now let's go on and show you the mop function. This is it mop and you can see the sheen that it's leaving behind. So it's equipped with a two-in-one electric control water tank and it also has spare parts in case you need to maintain it. Um, meanwhile, the dampness of the uh, uh, absorbable mop is sufficient, even and totally adjustable. So there are three levels of water control that you can use within the app. So you can see here on the app that it's gone through and it's done the perimeter of the entire room. And now it is just zigzagging across to complete the mopping action. And it's almost finished. So guys, that's our review of the Aerovo T10 Plus. Uh, it retails on Amazon for $499.99, uh, but with our 30% off discount code, which I'm just gonna leave on the screen for you here, um, you can get 30% off if you shop using the link in our description box below. Thank you very much to Air Robo for sending us this Hoover. It is the best robot vacuum cleaner we have used today. I love the fact that I don't, it is hands off. You know, I don't have to touch it. I still haven't had to touch it other than to show you guys it. Um, I haven't had to touch it for, and I shouldn't have to, for at least another two weeks. 
Um, that is hands down my favorite feature of it. But just a bit more about Air Robo. They are a smart home appliance brand and they really focus on AI enabled technology. Um, they're supported by world leading enterprises in humanoid and robotics field. And they are aiming to bring the most cutting edge technology to more and more households around the globe, making a smart home the norm for life. So yeah, thank you so, so much to Air Robo for sending this to us. Thank you guys for watching. Do let us know in the comments below if you do try out this Hoover and what you think of it. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye everyone.